Namaste everybody. This is Kalavati Devi and this is discussion two from the Jackson Street Ashram on Vedic Havan or traditional Vedic fire ceremony. So in segment one, I went over all the different supplies that you need to gather. In this section, I'm going to be discussing what days and times Vedic Havan is done as well as one of the primary mantras that is used, which is the Mahamritunjaya mantra. Now, Havan can be done any day of the year and at any time, but there are special windows where there is more auspiciousness and more benefit to be reaped by doing Vedic Havan. So those days include the new moon, the full moon, birthdays, funerals, celebrations, consecrations, and this mantra is also done um, not just Havan, but also during Ayurvedic healing treatments. Now, the mantra that is used very commonly in Vedic Havan is called the Maha Mrityun Chaya Mantra. So the Mahamrityun Chaya Mantra, Maha is great, Mrityun is death, and Jaya is victory. So it's victory over death or the fear of death. And this is from the Rig Veda, one of the oldest texts known to humanity. Now the mantra itself is classically done 108 times, and that is for very specific um, mapping of nadis and currents through the body. Now the mantra itself is pronounced like this, Aum, Triambakam, Yajamahe, Sugandhim, Pushti Vardhanam, Urvaruka, Miva Bandanam, Mrityur, Mukshiya, Mam Britat. I'll do it a second time slowly. Aum, Triambakam, Yajamahe, Sugandhim, Pushti Vardanam, Urvaruka, Miva Bandanam, Mrityur, Mukshiya, Mam now, when we're doing Vedic fire ceremony, typically we will say one repetition of the Mahamritunjaya mantra and then give offerings into the fire. Sometimes those offerings are the ghee in your spoon. Sometimes it is the Rudraksha bead from the strand of 108. Or sometimes it's different things that you've set out to be offered into the fire. And we say swaha. So the speed, since there's 108 repetitions, gets going a bit fast. So what it would sound like during ceremony would be like this. Om triambakam yajamahe sugandhim pushtivardhanam urvarukam ivabandhanam mrityur mukshiyamam ritahat. And then you give your offering. Svaha. Note, it's always with my right hand, and it's always with my middle, ring, and thumb fingers, with the palm up. Svaha. Now, for beads, let me move this over here and get my beads. It's ideal to use Rudraksha beads, and Rudraksha are actually seeds. They're said to be the tears of Shiva. This particular strand has 108. They all should have 108. And I prefer to use malas that have been consecrated first. So I hope you can join us for the next discussion and stay tuned for where I'll be posting, you know, PDF printout with all the information and more knowledge about Vedic fire ceremonies.